So number four then from paper two of the 2023 higher maths, just a little two mark question here for. This diagram shows the graph of this cubic function with the stationary points there and there, at two and negative two and cut the axis at negative one, etc. The, on the diagram in your answer booklet, whatever it looks like, probably got scales on it, I don't know, sketch the graph of this. Y is two times f of negative x, just for the two marks. Well, two times it means it'll have double the answers. Whatever the answers are here, they'll be double it, so it's getting stretched two times that way. But the answers come from the opposite halves, so it gets flipped about the y-axis and then stretched. Well, the ones that won't be affected by the stretching are these two, but they will be flipped. So the one at negative one will now be crossing here at one. The maximum at two will now be over here at negative two. And since it's been stretched this way, there's no flipping involved for this one. It's still on the y-axis, but instead of being at negative two, it'll be down at negative four. So I want my graph to go through this then. So ending up like this then. It's been flipped over and it's been stretched. Number five, for three marks here, a function is given by this expression here, used to calculate its rate of change when x is four. Now, this is meant to be paper two. These questions have been really quite easy so far, haven't they? Especially for a paper two. So the rate of change is just the derivative. And here, when you've got this function of a function, we'd be using the chain rule. So that's do the Outer one first of all, forget the inside. If it was just an x, it would have been 4x cubed. Then consider the inner one, multiply by its derivative, which is a negative 2. So tidying that up would be negative 8, 3 minus 2x, all cubed. Now you just say, well, what's the rate of change when x is 4? Well, that'll be negative 8 times 3 minus 2 times 4 cubed. So it's negative eight times, and that's a negative five cubed. Now, negative times negative is positive. I don't know, how much, but it's paper two, so I suppose you could, at that point there, you could just type it all in. So here I'll just say you've got five cubed is 125, eight times 125, that goes in nicely, that's a thousand. So the rate of change at four is a thousand. And there's another three marks for Number six, for three marks, find the inverse function of this function here. Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm just going to do it the one way. Mostly, I imagine, we'd just put y equals and then rearrange it. But rather than mess about, changing variables about, I think I'll just do it this way. The function acting on its inverse should produce x. So what does the function do to that? The function, whatever it takes, so 2 over f dashed, I mean f to the negative 1, the inverse, plus the 3 should be x. So 2 over the inverse should be x minus 3. And then I'll just switch them about. That can go to the top. I'm just going to cross multiply. That will go to the bottom. So the inverse function will be 2 over x minus 3.